Two rappers confess this to the same crime, only one is guilty. This is about Rick Ross and Cardi B. All right, let's, let's tap here. Two extremely famous rappers admit to committing the same horrible crime at the height of their popularity. Rick Ross's admission was in 2013, and Cardi B six years later in 2019. Rick Ross put Molly all, put Molly all in her champagne. She even know it. I took her home and enjoyed that. <laughs> she even know it. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I used to drag and drag. I used to drag and rob back when I was a stripper. Ha 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 ha. I'm totally not going to get in trouble because I'm a woman. Ah. Those are, those are the two contestants today. Let's see who wins. Ross received an incredible amount of backlash. Tens of thousands of petitions signed and hundreds of people standing outside of the Reebok headquarters demanding them to terminate their endorsement deal with the rapper. Cardi B, on the other hand, received tons of support from her fans and the media, breaking down all of the nuances of her crime and why it was okay. Today, we are going to take a look at both of these situations and examine exactly why Cardi B was perceived as a victim and Rick Ross was perceived as guilty in the court of public opinion. Crazy. Starting with Rick Ross. They're both criminals, though. In 2013, a rapper by the name of Rocco released a remix of his song U O E N O alongside Future and Rick Ross. U I'm not gonna lie, bro, even though this song has that crazy bar, this song is so tough. This song is so tough. It's crazy to, it's crazy because it has that bar in it, bro. How did they how did the record label how did the record labels clear that shit, bro? No is not an acronym but rather a slurred slang term represent Bro, why you ain't hold it bro, why you ain't standing holding your mic? Nah -uh, you're not allowed to sit. Do y'all really want me to stand with this mic right here while I'm streaming? Do y'all want me to just stand and react to things like this? Is that what y'all want? Like this? Presenting a phrase you don't even I can't know even see it. my face. At the two minute and ten second mark in the song, Rick Ross says, Put Molly all in her champagne. She, she even, even know it. it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She, she even, even know it. it. Listeners, the most iconic bar of all time, I swear to God. Favorite ball, bro. The realest bar ever, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Favorite bar of all time. That's a Bill Cosby bar. I go you. That's Bill Cosby's, R. Kelly's, P. Diddy's, Big Mills, EDP's, Josh Giddy's. Favorite bar of all time. Especially if it's especially if it's about an underage girl or a man. We're shocked to hear Rick Ross directly confess to drugging a woman and then insinuating that they had sex after. It's hard to interpret. Can't forget it. Can't forget about good. Can't forget about good old Bill either. Can't forget about can't forget about good old Bill too. And Jeffrey Epstein. This bar as anything other than a confession. At first, this was just a crazy lyric that made you and your buddies look at each other in disbelief. But the song was getting more and more popular, making the rounds on social media and in the clubs. As more people were exposed to the specificity and boastfulness of Rick Ross's delivery, they felt like they had to speak out. First, a petition calling for Rick Ross to quote, publicly apologize for glorifying drugging slash r-wording a woman was posted to change.org. The organizer wrote, this should be Cloud, what's your suit? Cloud, what's your shoe size? Uh, size a ten and a half, I think. Gated further, and he should be prosecuted. Oh no way! I want that. Though. Hey, you offer to send me some shoes to my PO box that uh, I total totally don't have. I actually have a uh, PO box. Should I open up the PO box to everybody? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna do that one day. It didn't have a large enough impact. Then, Rosa Clemente, who was the 2008 vice presidential candidate of the Green Party, posted a YouTube video criticizing the rapper. This is disgusting to say the least. This lyric is obviously promoting um, not just date, but and culture and violence against women. We live in a society that by the time African American women and. Pause, I don't really care. Okay, look. Uh. So what I said, Cloud, I grew up with my ex. Should I keep hanging out with her? Cloud, I grew up with my ex. Should I keep hanging out with her as a friend? Okay, look. Let's peep Gabe and let's lock it. Okay. First off, let's peep Gabe and lock it. Look, if you are if you grew up with your ex and y'all dated and y'all broke up, I ain't gonna lie. If y'all stay as friends, y'all finna be getting... I ain't gonna lie. If y'all stay as friends, y'all finna get back together again. Because let's be real, nigga. If y'all both drunk or y'all both like horny one night, y'all y'all finna fuck. Let's be real. But, like, y'all finna be friends, too, and y'all know each other. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all just gotta accept that y'all y'all are meant for each other, bro. You just kind of think how things are, bro. It's just kind of how things are. Y'all are meant for each other. Y'all gonna y'all gonna realize it one day or... Y'all gonna, gonna, gonna realize one way or... Y'all gonna realize one way or another, bro. But y'all are meant for each other. It's just how it is, bro. 
Just be prepared. Latino women are 18. Almost half of them, um, 44% have been sexually abused. From there, more media personalities use their platform to encourage people to speak out against Ross. Sex without consent is rape. Is what you should know. Sex without consent is rape. That's what we know. Rick Ross. The Reddit's of our city, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Cookie shout out. donated $2 through Super Chat. Do you like Frank Ocean? I love Frank Ocean. I love that homosexual Lucky Charm, bro. A shame that you don't know. The controversy spread like wildfire. Every major news outlet started to chime in. When Ross responded to the controversy, he did more harm than good. On so what said my, so what asked for my height? I'm 6'2", buddy. New Orleans radio station Q93.3 FM, he said, I want to make sure this is clear. That woman is the most precious gift known to man. You understand? There was a misunderstanding with a lyric, a misinterpretation. Think, how, do you, how can you misinterpret? I put Bali up or I put Bali up. I put Molly off. I put Molly in her champagne. She didn't even know it. I took it home and I enjoyed that. She didn't even know it. What could you have possibly enjoyed, little nigga? Big nigga, my fault, nigga. I forgot how big you are. Like, what are we talking about? What are we literally talking about? How can we misinterpret that, bro? What? Like, bro, this, if this ain't no PR statement of fucking hell, nigga. The term wasn't used. I would never use the term in my records. As far as my camp, hip hop don't condone that. The streets don't condone that. Nobody condones that. So, so why I would you say it? Out to all the queens that's on my timeline, all the sexy ladies, the beautiful ladies that had been reaching. How long? Y'all don't need to know that, bro. Seven and a half inches. Out to me with the Seven and a half. We don't don't forget that half. And I'm not with that. Ross claiming that this lyric was all a misunderstanding and then shouting out the sexy ladies just fueled even more outrage. Hip hop outlets began speaking out against him. Guys, Rick Ross has come to a crossroads. He is a great artist. Good dude. Put me, put me on his mixtape. I love the guy. But he's got a proof step up right now. Why do y'all want proof, bro? That's gay. Y'all niggas, all y'all niggas are, all y'all niggas are some lucky charms, bro. And do the right thing. And that right thing is a thorough and sincere apology about the lines that made people think he was endorsing date. Ross's peers, such as Talib Kweli, began speaking out against him. I don't care if Rick Ross is 40 years old. He's a misguided 40-year-old person. When we embraced him, we have to embrace him with love. Everything everyone's saying about that line is correct. Rick Ross condoned in that song, and he shouldn't, and he should apologize. And his apology that he offered was unacceptable. So he apologized again. On April 4th, 2013, he tweeted, I don't condone apologies for the hashtag lyric interpreted as hashtag boss this was his second attempt at an apology but still sticking to his belief that you the listener misconstrued his words and he didn't say anything wrong whereas many argue that there is no other way to look at this lyric like adam Howard literally no Rio, other way said there's no way literally to no other way like i just said there's no other way bro you did what you did bro don't hush your fit but argue that he's not describing rape most other hip-hop songs describing sexual contact, while still often misogynistic, at least leave room for a listener to believe that women are consenting parties. My friend's girl asked me out, what should I do? Uh, tell your friend? Like a good homie? Why are you even asking me that? You should have been told your friend hours ago, bro. What? But in this case, listening to a man gleefully rhyme about drugging someone and having sex with her while she's unconscious feels like an alarmingly pointed threat. Critics were tired of Rick Ross's inability to accept responsibility, especially the National Organization for Women in New York City, who rallied in hundreds outside of the Reebok headquarters in New York, asking them to disband their partnership with Rick Ross. It is a hate crime to be out there making fun of, making light of, of drugging and yeah, 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 yo. Luke Faulkner donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. Dub Dodo, clap it up for Luke. Clap it up for Luke. Wait, what's your hairline reveal? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck that. Bro, I've, haven't I revealed my hairline like 50 times already? Nah, y'all boys just gotta watch the vibes. That happens all too often in our culture. These are actually 72,000 petitions um, signed by our members all over the country, and there are also comments from people about why they feel like Reebok needs to drop Rick Ross. Rick Ross is um, a disgrace to humanity. This guy's a joke. How do you say, you know, I slipped her Molly, went home and enjoyed that, and she didn't even know, and then say you didn't mean to condone rape? He knew exactly what he's saying, the fact of the matter. 
Three is he's just a coward, and now he's trying to avoid dealing with it. Just a few cooked. He cooked. That man right there, he cooked, bro. He cooked. I'm not gonna lie. A few days after the protest, Rick Ross was officially dropped from his multi million dollar endorsement deal. The company made a statement While we do not believe that Rick Ross condones sexual assault, we are very disappointed he has yet to display an understanding of the seriousness of the issue or an. We don't believe that he did it, bitch. Let's be fucking for real. That nigga didn't just make that shit up. He ain't just make that shit up, nigga. That, 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 that's a personal experience. That's a real story. That's a real event. Nigga, that was inspiration. That fallacy. Let's be real. Appropriate level of remorse. They continued. At this not time, fallacy. it is in everyone's best interest for rebuy. That was not no fallacy, boy. That's gospel. Talk to end its partnership with Mr. Ross. I guess Ross was hoping the outrage would eventually die out because it was after Reebok dropped him that he finally made a formal apology. My choice of words was not only offensive, it does not reflect my true heart. And PR, he did not actually say this. For this, I apologize. To every woman that has felt the sting of abuse, I apologize. I recognize that as an artist, I have a voice and with that, the power of influence. To the young men who listen to my music, please know that using a substance to rob a woman of her right to make a choice is not only a crime, it's wrong and I do not encourage it. Have you ever Googled your name and seen yourself on one of those? Love you, Patrick. Remove, come forward parental and you can one continue seepers have been spitting a two-week free trial but not that much link is in the description Thanks, Aura. Now, rappers have been spitting extremely controversial lyrics for decades. In a 2001 song called Fight oh, Music, what? spitting extreme If you got a daughter older than 15, I'ma fuck her. Take her on the living room floor, right there in front of you, then ask you seriously what you wanna do. DMX said that? Dude, that's what that crack do to you, bro. Extremely controversial lyrics for decades. In a 2001 song called Fight Music by D12, rapper Bazaar said, I hate you, I'll take your draws down and ape you, while Dr. Dre videotapes you, which is- Yeah, that, yeah, he's, de he's definitely done that before. He's definitely done that before. That's way too descriptive, bro. Extremely blatant and descriptive. Eminem has a laundry list of descriptive admissions of crimes. I mean, at this point, what rapper hasn't glorified or admitted to some heinous crime? Many people argue that none of these lyrics can be taken seriously because they are made up to represent a character or persona that doesn't represent the reality of the rapper. Let's be for real. Raps about drug selling, drug trafficking. Dr. Dre needs to be questioned too? Bro, Y'all, do y'all know about Dr. Dre, bro? Y'all even know about Dr. Dre? First off, let, let them, I ain't trying to get canceled, bro. First off, let me just tell you. His wife, word around the street, he trans. Every nigga in hip-hop who got beef with Dre has said he's gay. That ain't no coincidence. Plus, he's a producer. We did, we been seen, we been seen how Diddy got down. Producer in, producer in the 90s. Grew up in the early 2000s. Really popped off in the really popped off in the early two thousands. All that shit. We all see. We see that Diddy got down. You think Dr. Dre ain't get down the same way? Let's be for real. I heard so many stories about him being gay. So many stories about him being gay, bro. It's not. It's not even allegations to this. It's not even allegations anymore, bro. It's like it's fucking truth. I'm sorry. Being a boss. Don't hate on the producers. I think Dr. Dre makes great music and great beats. But he also loves meat. <laughs> Violence. That's what his brand is about. That's what he raps about. Rick Ross is quite literally a stolen name from a real 1980s drug kingpin, Ricky Donald Ross, aka Freeway Rick. The rapper Rick Ross's entire persona is fake, but based on a real criminal. Many people use the argument that if music lyrics should be taken seriously, then why is there no outrage when rappers rap about robbing, shooting, and murdering people? But there is a very specific reason why this particular line from Rick Ross garnered so much backlash. And that's due to a shifting cultural perception on these types of crimes after two Ohio teens raped a girl and basically got off with a slap on the wrist. What? 
Nigga, is this fucking 13 reasons why? What? On March 17th, 2013, just one week before Ross's lyric blew up, two teens in Steubenville, Ohio were found guilty of rape. But the way these teens had absolutely zero empathy or regard for the victim was a shocking wake-up call for the realities of these horrible crimes. The two teens were promising football players who were beloved by the small Ohio town. Of course it's the football players, bro. They got too power hungry. They thought the world was theirs. They did. They just took advantage of a girl, bro. They probably made out while they were doing it to these gay ass fucks. At a party, a 16 year old girl drank more than she could handle, leading to her blacking out multiple times, only waking up to vomit. The defendants eventually brought her into the back of a Volkswagen, where Trent May, quote, proceeded to flash the girl's breasts and penetrate her with his fingers, while another football player videotaped it on his phone. Malik Rich. That's so horrible, bro. That's so horrible. That's nasty as fuck. But again, I told y'all what I was, we, we was talking about the little parties. It sounds you should leave a party. I told y'all boys. I told y'all boys, bro. You see, you see a group of guys carrying away a overly drunk girl off to some unknown place? Leave. You don't want to be involved in none of that bullshit, bro. The other defendant took his turn violating the girl. Have a good night, Hyper. Although there was no penile penetration, any sexual conduct where the person is unable to give consent in the state of Ohio does constitute as rape. Then, compromising and explicit photos of the girl were shared bro, on the what, internet. Bro, bro, and some nigga, of the real cloud. What's up with you, bro? Nigga, real cloud. What the fuck is up with you? I bet it smells like fish. What? Witnesses mocked her even more on Twitter. The police were notified about the on the internet. Some people deserve to be peed on. Who are you? Horse status? Ha ha ha. Never seen anything this sloppy. What are you talking about? Man, and some of it as he said, turn violating the girl with his fingers. Although there was no penile penetration, any sexual conduct where the person is unable to give consent in the state of Ohio does constitute as rape. Then, compromising and explicit photos of the girl were shared on the internet, and some of the witnesses mocked her even more on That's Twitter. That's so the crazy. The police were notified about the crime a couple days later. They were given a flash drive of evidence, including the post shared on social media, but the police said the case was challenging, partly because because too much time had passed since the suspected rape. All of the local press about the situation appeared to be biased towards the boys, discussing their football dreams and how important football is to the community. Lots of kids in town grow up hoping, wishing one day they could play for Big Red Football. Were you one of those kids? Yes, I was. And then there's Trent. His father, Brian, a football coach, says there's football in his son's DNA. One of his dreams since he was be since he was a kid was to play quarterback for Steubenville. As one of Steubenville's football coaches. So they tried to like cover up this whole case with just that. That's just so nasty, bro. I'm sorry. They tried to cover up this whole case. But just saying, oh, these are football boys. They got problems in the future. There's no way they should get caught up in this. This silly fool of shit. See, that's the problem with America, bro. If you play sports, you can get away with anything, bro. Just told the New York. And if you're good at and if you're good at sports, you're basically God. Times quote the rape was just nothing can stop you, bro. I think. What else are you going to tell your parents when you come? Nothing can stop you, bro. It's your world, and we're just living in that shit. It's a fucking sad reality, bro. Home drunk like that after a it's night fucking like that. Sad, she bro. had to make up something. Now people are trying to blow up our football program because of it. Just like fucking sad, bro. The Rick Ross outrage slowly grew bigger. This story took on a life of its own as larger publications started to write about it. The anonymous hacker group leaked personal information of 50,000 Ohio residents that they believed were helping obstruct the investigation. They also leaked a video that was taking place that night when a small group of friends, including the defendants, videotaped themselves bragging and laughing about the crime. She's dead because there was a naked picture on her, a wang in the butt, and she wasn't moving. There's usually a reaction. The boys Bro, where, where did these demons come from? They could go back to hell. Proceeded to laugh and make fun of the girl on camera for 12 minutes straight. <laughs> this video went extremely viral, with people all around the world demanding justice for the victim. Many people referred back to the abhorrent mentality of these boys when criticizing Rick Ross's lyrics, whereas others felt like blaming a rapper's lyrics was merely a cop-out, an outrage. Y'all think Rick Ross's lyrics, you think Rick Ross's lyrics caused that shit? Okay, look, I'm all against Rick Ross with that bullshit, right? But let's be real, them niggas was gonna rape that girl no matter what. 
I can say rape now. I'm on YouTube. Them, them, I'm going to still say rape though. Them boys are going to rape that girl no matter what. They're just horrible. <laughs> Finally, because of the outrage, the freeze or we straight, we straight, we straight, boys. The case went to trial, and the boys were found guilty. Trent Mays, who's 17, was sentenced to serve at least two years in the state juvenile system. The other, Malik Richmond, 16, was sentenced to serve at least one year. Although it took thousands of outraged people on the internet to escalate this issue for them to receive justice, many believe that the punishment for these teens was not enough, perpetuating the reality that these types of crimes are not taken as seriously as they should be. And then one week after this guilty verdict that people are out- still lagging? Lagging? Are we straight? I'm gonna give it a minute to breathe. I'm gonna give it a minute to breathe. Are we straight? Raged about. Rick Ross has an extremely popular song that people see as glorifying this same horrible crime. It was a recipe for disaster. Yet despite all the backlash, this didn't even have any long-lasting impact on Rick Ross's career. Or even the song. UOENO debuted at number 99 on the Billboard Hot 100 three weeks after Ross was dropped by Reebok. And by July 20th, it peaked at number 20 on the Hot 100. They even released a visual to the song a few months later that depicts a woman drinking a spiked drink and begins spiraling before Rick Ross takes her home. Are you serious, bro? No, that's wicked. Even though Reebok dropped him, he has still managed to secure tons of multi-million dollar business deals that he reaps the benefits of still to this day. Have you seen this guy's house? He is doing just fine. At the end of the day, Rick Ross does have deniability that what he said was fiction as it was just a part of a song. Cardi B, on the other hand, does not have that deniability because she admitted to drugging multiple people. Cloud, did you like vultures? It was all right. It was straight. People on an Instagram live. However, the reason she did it is what caused Some good songs. her with support Some rather skips. than outrage. On an Instagram get about live skips, in 2017, though. rapper Cardi B was discussing the struggles that she went through to survive in the streets of New York City. It's still so crazy she said this shit. And that one bit of cancellation came to her name. Just like Rick Ross, Cardi B admits to drugging people, but specifically she said drugging men and robbing them. For more context, Cardi B was a stripper before she was a rapper. And in this instance, she was describing situations where men would try to solicit sex from her in strip clubs, to which she would say yes. Then she would drug them and rob them. But this Instagram Live didn't go viral until two years after it was recorded. Two years? In March of 2019, it resurfaced via Twitter and sparked. Cloud, if you were rich, would you buy a big ass mansion or try to live in a normal gated community? Big ass mansion, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I'll have both, though. I'll have a, I'll have a house in a normal neighborhood, and I have my boys live there. And then I'll have a mansion where me and my fam or whatever, or me and my uh, other boys live. Marked outrage online. Hashtag surviving Cardi B began trending worldwide on the double Twitter, standards which is are a crazy. reference to the I Surviving R. Kelly docuseries that detailed all of the horrific sex crimes committed by the R&B singer. Cardi B quickly tweeted, I never claimed to be an angel. I always been a street bitch. Y'all be glorifying this street rappers that talk and do the grimy shit, but then they can't stand a street bitch. Then she continued to gloat Nigga, you just admitted to fu uh, You just admitted to drugging men and robbing them what are we talking about about how people are trying to cancel her i'm that bitch they love to hate i'm that bitch they hate to love when they try to cancel me on twitter and instagram critics felt like she was taunting them which just added fuel to the fire redditors unleashed a firestorm of criticism including this post on the subreddit black people twitter calling the rapper cardi b cosby the post read, <laughs> you better get the bill cosby treatment or gender equality doesn't exist this so stupid she called this hard work as many of you know bill cosby was accused by 60 women of rape, cardi cosby boy harassment and less than a year before cardi
Cardi B's Cardi Bill. Viral, he was not only rightfully vilified for his disgusting actions, but found guilty and jailed for his crimes. Cardi felt like Cardi Bill words Cosby. were being twisted and lacked context, so she posted a lengthy response on social media explaining her point of view. There are rappers that glorify murder, violence, drugs, and robbing. Crimes they- Cloud, what girl's name do you think is the baddest? Summer. I have never met a summer that wasn't bad. Summer, bro, you gotta be bad. Until they had to do to survive. I never glorified the things I brought up in that live. I never even put those things in my music because I'm not proud of it and feel a responsibility not to glorify it. I made the choices that I did at the time because I had very limited options. I was blessed to have been able to rise from that, but so many women have not. The men that I- For Rick and Morty, I'm talking about real life, Gago. Spoke about in my live were men that I dated and was involved with. Cardi Clinton? <laughs> men that were conscious, willing- and aware. After the rapper's response, major media outlets began to clarify and highlight the quotes where she said that she was doing the fact that she still the fact that she said all this and still gets awards. Look, y'all just gotta realize niggas don't get those awards off of being good rappers and artists. They get those awards off of they get they get those award they get those awards off of sucking dick. And how much suck and how much dick they suck to get those awards. That's how they get those awards, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Doing what she had to do to survive. There were no protests, no demanding of a deeper apology, no attack. Like, Killer Mike won the Grammys? Have you ever heard of Killer Mike a day in your life before he won the Grammys? Over Travis Scott? The difference is Travis Scott ain't willing to suck no dick. Killer Mike, though. Killer Mike? He a, he a producer from the Diddy in fucking uh, Dr. Dre days. You know, we all know how they got down. That's all I gotta say about that. Her sponsors. For Cardi's fans and business partners, they weren't surprised to hear this information since she never hid who she was from the people. I'm a rapper. I'm a. They came from the streets. That came to the industry. I wasn't a Disney Channel star. I wasn't a nun. I wasn't a saint. I never was a saint. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm a good hearted person, but I have done fucked up shit. For many women and fans of the rapper, they understood her struggle and were ready to move on. Even Rick Ross told people to leave Cardi alone. Like I say, leave Cardi be alone because we don't need to persecute her for her past. We need to be leaders and lead by example. And regardless of what you did in the past, if you stole a car in the past. But nobody would do it for him though. Like, and I'm not saying they should because no, you shouldn't do this for, for nobody. Like these, these people are criminals and they deserve to get canceled. But like... It's just double standards, bro. Didn't Cardi B like rape guys too? Allegedly, allegedly. We don't know if that's for sure, but I mean, she 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 robbed the niggas, put Molly in their champagne and robbed the niggas. That's probably not always that she did though. But she but women but females just wouldn't count that as rape. Oh, you're a man. You're supposed to. Oh, you're a man. You're supposed to like it. Yeah, I'm not gonna like that shit when I wake up and all my fucking belongings are gone, all right? Aren't I, bitch? Like, what are we talking about? That don't mean you shouldn't be able to get money in the future. As long as you change your ways, and we all know Cardi B focused on the money now, and she is a leader. But it seemed like mostly men, who were not fans of Cardi B to begin with, were outraged at the lack of further outrage. Change my view. If Cardi B was a man, we would be boycotting her music and her career would be destroyed. To yes. so which people countered that most other male rappers have had extremely public controversies that didn't destroy their careers. Chris Brown's long history of assault has not hindered his career. Dr. Dre- it's Because Chris Brown's Chris Brown, bro. Has a history of accusations that have not hindered his career. Dr. Dre is Dr. Dre. 6 9 pleaded guilty to the use of a child in a sexual performance, which was well known even during his popularity. Huh? I never knew about this. Nigga, what did Daniel Hernandez do this? And as we detailed before, Rick Ross did lose out on some money, but ultimately it had no long-standing impact. What? On his A career. child? Another Hold on, pause. Got to get the mouse out. Hold on, boys went viral on the subreddit, Unpopular Opinion. 
Cardi B drugging and robbing men makes her a predator. Now, it actually took most That should be an unpopular opinion that that's the truth. She is a predator. Which was a huge reason why redditors were so angry. She was alone in rooms with men who thought they were going to have sex with her, since she told them that she would. Then she drugs them into unconsciousness, which is enough evidence for some people to assume that she could have also raped them. But Cardi denies this. Have actually sex when you touch. See, of course she's going to deny it, bro. But like, you feel me? Let's be real, bro. And on my comment read, no one cares about male victims when it comes to these types of situations. They say, well, that's what his horny ass gets for going to a hotel room with a woman he just met. Hold on, boys. All right, restraint. Let's get back to it. Let it have been a male rap. Let it read. Let me tell you something. I never ever wanted none of these niggas. An online comment read, No one cares about male victims when it comes to these types of situations. They say, Well, that's what his horny ass gets for going to a hotel room with a woman he just met. Let it have been a male rapper who was drugging women, though. Sex crimes oh, against me. men are more common than people think. But there is an assumption that Both of them should get victimized, bro. I think I talked about this in my video. Oh, no, this was the part I left out. I should have kept that shit in. He sexually assaulted because of gender-based stigmas. And at this time, the Me Too movement and the Believe Women movement was at an all-time high. So many people just automatically believed Cardi when she said that she wasn't sexually assaulting anyone, and rather just hustling them for their money. But the outrage calling for her to be cancelled continued throughout the years, until someone found another old video of her where she explains a hypothetical situation where she describes setting up a sexual assault. I'm going to take him out. We're going to get drunk. I'm going to get him all perked up and everything. We're going to have a good time. Get him super twisted. Then bring a bitch around. We're going to have a threesome. And when he wake up, he's going to be like, what the? F yeah, because the bitch was a tranny. I'm going to be like, yup. Yup, we had a threesome with a tranny. Yup. Yup, a tranny suck your dick. You don't got to fuck another nigga. Never in my, never in my wildest nightmares did I ever expect this woman, Cardi B, to talk about a nigga, to talk about setting a nigga up to get fucked by a tranny. What's the whole purpose of this shit? Nigga, I'd rather just get robbed, bro. I'd rather just get robbed, bro. Just rob me, bro. Just rob me. Just rob me. I swear to God, I, I want you to rob me. Rather than that, please just rob me, bro. It's way better just if you rob me. I don't. Just please, bro. To get even. Nigga, I'm not trying to get fucked by a tranny. Please just rob me, bro. I need to... Uh. Other ways to get this is a case of, I didn't do it, but if I did do it, this is how I would do it. Me, the descriptiveness bro. of the situation is hard to interpret as just a joke. This was enough evidence for detractors to confirm that she was a predator. So when they saw this tweet in 2023, they felt like she had no right to speak on the matter. This world is full of predators. They prey on the innocent, the ones who are most unknowing, our children. Predators could be our neighbors, our school teachers, even people with money, power, and our churches. Constantly talk with your kids about boundaries and what they shouldn't allow people to do to them. And with the entire internet calling her a hypocrite, she dug a deeper hole as she spoke about the situation yet again. And now people want to come at me like, oh, b you're the wrong messenger, you're the wrong messenger, then you robbing drug men. And it's like, listen, 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 y'all not going to keep doing this because when it comes to f weird ass predators and rapists and pedophiles and sh I'm really like, I don't play that. Sh I really don't f play that. Sh and and then y'all be like, you were what? But you were one though. Like, what, what are you talking about, bro? You drug and rob them. Did I touch their body? Did I touch their penis? Yes. Bro, obviously you had to, bro. You, you, ah. Uh. Touch their ass. Did I touch them? Did I put my lips on them? No. No type of mm. touching. Don't confuse. And even if y'all claim, oh, you You trying to say, you trying to justify that, though. That's still bad. Like, what are we talking about? It's like you're trying to justify something. It's like, it's like you're trying to justify meeting up with, like, a 16-year-old as, like, a 32-year-old man. Oh, I met up with her. She made it suck my dick, but I didn't fuck her though. 
Oh, I manipulated her to come in here. We cuddled for a minute, but I didn't fuck though. Nigga, you're still a fucking pedophile, nigga. Huh? What? That doesn't make sense, bro. Them was robbing and uh, robbing and is two different type of shit. So don't f call me no college dropout or late registration. College dropout. Don't call me no late registration is so underrated though. Don't play with my name like that because I don't play that. Shit. Cardi stays firm in her stance that she was never sexual with these men, but she does wholeheartedly admit that these men deserve to be robbed. However, there is a third opinion okay, that bro. the vast majority of people this. hold for Cardi B. Cardi B came in the game during the Vine See, era. See, if a man said that, oh yeah, these women deserve to be robbed, jail cell, fucking three life sentences, canceled, all brand endorsement sponsorships are gone, nigga, he'll be given that R. Kelly treatment, no matter how good a music he is, bro, it's bad. Putting herself as a gang yeah, yeah, Donda, stripper, Donda. her off-the-wall persona made her who she is. You can't ask what can she say or yeah, do that would get her canceled because she's been talking and acting crazy from the jump. LOL at bringing up her drugging and robbing men. Yeah, well, she told us from the jump she was a blood. What do you think bloods do? Life of Pablo or My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, bro. Most people love to point out Life of Pablo is good, though, but My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. They simplify the situation as man do bad thing, get big trouble, and girl do same bad thing, no consequences. But the truth is. The girl Josh Giddy tapped was bad, though. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking pedo. You better be below 15, bro. Is there is tons of nuance to consider when assessing any type of crime, social issue, drama, or whatever you want to call this. No two situations are ever the same. Oh, 14? The okay, you straight. Are Rick Ross and you straight. You 14? Okay, you straight. Party B are both rappers who admitted to drugs. I gotta remember someone. that. The context, the intent, the time frame, the clarity of the words, the behavior before and after the admission are all entirely different, but extremely necessary to assess before you make a decision on what you think about these rappers. Now, I'm not saying they should be absolved of criticism, but if you're expecting rappers to be beacons of moral good, you're gonna be angry forever. Why would you ever do that though? That's like literally the worst thing you could do.